I don't really know what this means. Um, where it came from. <gasps> this is my old dress. This is a torture chamber. Oh gosh. Date, 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 date. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> no, no, I didn't know. Hey, I'm Lisa. I'm Lauren. And, and we're, we're part of Cimarelli. Ooh, hated that. <laughs> I'm 27. And she's 22. <laughs> I, like I don't know, because it's weird. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> Listen, we're switching closets today, okay? We are gonna pick out three outfits from each other's clothing, and then we're gonna try them on and show them to each other and see what we think. How do we do? <laughs> what does this feel like? What does this look like? Yeah. My style, it's pretty casual, I would say. I don't really like get dressed up very much. Even when I do dress up, it's not that dressed up. I don't know. I wear just a lot of like t-shirts and shorts and cotton. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I like to, you know, Make it a little funky fresh, some flashing patterns. Generally, it's just pretty casual. Like you're not basic, but you're not like <laughs> wild. Yeah. You're kind of somewhere in the middle. This is really weird, but the only way I can think of my style is that it's stimulating to my brain. For instance, yes, like different patterns and colors. Like I, I need to look at it and be like, like it's like a lightning bolt <laughs> through me. I do wear casual, chill stuff sometimes and like neutrals basics. As I age, I find that I finally enjoy neutrals here and there. Tan, brown, mm. earthy green. I used to hate those, but now I kind of like them. The best outfit for me is gonna have a lot of colors, maybe patterns, drastic sizing, something really yeah. tight or really huge, like, that's what makes me feel best. So it's just kind of eclectic and wild would be my style, I guess. That's true. And I think a big difference between us is you <coughs> wear a lot more like dresses and skirts and more like feminine things than I do. And I also wear more manly things than you do with like uh, fat shirts and well, fat But you wear pants literal like, like men's jeans yes, sometimes. Yes, yes. So. I'm just like all over the spectrum. Um, yeah, she's got it all. So today we're gonna pick out three outfits from each that's six. Listen, today we're gonna pick out three outfits from each other's closets, not six. Here's what the outfits are gonna be. We decided they're gonna be date night, mm -hmm. casual daytime, whatever, and um, a show outfit like for a concert that we would do, which, you know, no touring right now, but one day. <laughs> this is what we would wear if we had a show coming up. Mm -hmm. You ready to raid my closet? No. Well, you have to. <laughs> Woo! All right, ready? So I am here in Lisa's closet. It's a wild, wild world in here. Hello, I'm Lisa, and I'm in Lauren's closet, and I'm about to dive in. Uh, I'm gonna pick out three outfits, so let's see what we have to work with here. So, ooh, wow, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen her wear this. Okay, so let's see. The first thing I am noticing is a lot of patterns, some strange patterns, some crochets. Uh, I don't have any of those. I've never been in Lauren's closet. I didn't even know what it looked like. You know what it was shaped like? I'm shook to see so many sweatshirts hanging up because mine are always folded in a pile because I don't have room, but if I could, I would hang them just like this. Mm, gee, I didn't realize it went this far back. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so she has 10,000 dresses. You know, off the bat, it doesn't feel too crazy different from mine. Like, she's got both of these. Of course, they're on the bottom because this is what she wears the least, but you know, this is just, these pants right up my alley. Probably gonna dig into that for the performance portion. Oh, yes, okay. Um, these shoes. This is really something here. I don't really know what this means, um, where it came from, but I think I might have to use that one today. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna take a step out of my comfort zone here and try some new things. Oh, wow. I guess this is kind of like my Crocs that have all those charms in them. I'm gonna do these for the performance. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm overwhelmed actually. I feel like I, not knowing where everything is is really like throwing me off. These are the dresses? Okay. <gasps> this is my old dress. 
I think I gave this to Lauren, if I'm not wrong. I used to own this dress. I think I gave this to her in 2013. So I'm honored and weirded out that it made it so far. Okay, yeah, this, I can't, I can't work with that really. I don't really like the <laughs> square thing. I feel like it looks like you have no toes if you wear them, I don't know. I have a question about this because you're like, okay, OMG Disney, haha. <laughs> then you're like, <laughs> flames. Edgy Disney, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that will work for me. Oh gosh. Date, 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 date. Oh, she always wears this. I recognize this. Oh gosh, let's see. I'm going on a date in Lauren's closet. What do I wear? Okay, let's just say this for now for the date. Oh my gosh, I love these pants that Lauren has. I might just try these. I don't know if I'm gonna fit in her pants. I feel like I am bigger than she is. So far I have two pairs of pants and a dress. This one, I really, I really like this. Um, it looks like she bought this probably from Goodwill and just like drool all over it. And that's really iconic. I don't know what any of this means. I like how she color coordinated this for me. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, wow. That is something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really stumped on the casual outfit. I'm like, this is me being casual and it's a lot. So I'm trying to not just wear something that I would normally wear, but still something that I like. Okay, I feel like I could do this. I don't wear tops like this. It's like a thin sweater. It's still a little warm outside, but I won't be wearing this outside. So I'm gonna try maybe these for the casual. We'll just see how it works. Um, date night. This, look, I don't know how you do this, Lisa, but this is a torture chamber. This is a wedgie machine. Why would you do that? Just cut, 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 just wear it as a crop top. Okay, this is something that I would never wear. This is a romper that's like a snake skin vibe thing. But I think I'm gonna do this one for a date night because I actually am like, this is kind of iconic. Okay, and then the show outfit. I need something to go with pink camo pants. I would actually wear one of her swimsuits as a top, but I'm like, I don't want to put on her swimsuit. Um, <laughs> what do you wear on a date? I've never been on a date before. Oh, hey, what is this? That's kind of cute. That's kind of like abnormal for me. Let's try that. This is, wait, is this too cat? No, it's too casual for a date. Ah, uh, uh, okay, this might be actually a better option. This one, what does Lauren wear on dates? Oh, you know, I think she's more of a jeans girl, that's why. She ain't playing around. She's ready to kick a soccer ball. All right, I'm gonna go with... Uh... Okay, Lisa is a Nickelback stan, so we're gonna use this shirt. I think I might use this for performance outfit. I like to perform more like casually and I just wanna feel like free. So I think I'm gonna go with like t-shirt and this cool shirt. You know, I wanna feel artistic, but also free. So maybe like this with some just like jeans or shorts or something? Yes, we'll do these. I don't know how these are all gonna work and if they're even gonna fit me, but gotta take a risk, take a chance, make a change in this life, you know? I forgot there are skirts in this closet. Game, wait, backup plan. Option two, I try to think of a different. This could work for a date night. Um, I could do like a crop top with this because it looks pretty long. I don't wanna do black because I just did black. Did I? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I could try this, or this one's kind of similar, but different cut. I might like this one better. Okay, this crochet is really a winner here again. Like, I would never buy this, but I actually really like it. I think I'm just gonna go casual as this with these jean shorts. This literally is like something Lisa, I'm pretty sure, has worn, but I actually really like it. Okay, Lisa has all these fun shoes that I think I need to give them a whirl. Um. These are pretty iconic, and I think I have to wear them. I wear those for the casual outfit. Ooh, okay, and I also want to wear these so bad, but I don't think that really goes with any of the fit. Okay, finally, I just need to style the camo pants. So, if I were doing a show, I don't want to wear something tight. I want to feel free flowing, all my energy to be pouring out of my clothing into the screaming crowd. Oh gee, it's our own merch. Sad Girls Club. Oh, I would wear this. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. All right, I found my three outfits. Um, I gotta give Lauren some props for my personal taste, not like 
I have any say in her closet, but I really like her selection. So I got three outfits, yay! Okay, we're done. Get out of my face. Hello kids, it is your fave three inch tall lady, AKA Amy. And I'm here today to judge some fashion choices. Um, my credentials are I am the only one available. Lauren and Lisa are very different. I am right in the middle of them, I'm 24. And they both have very distinct looks. Aren't and they both- I'm 25! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm 25! I'm 25, I'm in the middle. They have very specific looks that they go for in their own vibes. Very interested to see how they translate because they might like, you know, look very alike, but their vibes are so different. I'm so interested. In the words of Christina, who is the winner and who is the other winner? Because we love everyone here today, folks. And I'm really scared to judge. The first look that I will be judging for you all today as your esteemed judge, call me Solomon in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, is our casual look from our ladies. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go right there. Turn around. On the count of three, everyone open their eyes and turn around. I'm so nervous. Okay, ready? One, I can't two, deal. three. But I felt like, yeah. But I felt like Wait, it was like take a risk. Wait, are all? Oh my gosh, these I'm are so all. This is all Lauren's my shoes. I always wear that top with one of those pairs of Vans because yeah, they all and it feels it. like you. But I put it on. I thought I would look like you, but I don't. The more shocking transformation is definitely Lisa. Okay. But Lauren, this hippie vibe on you is something that I really treasure. I will give Lisa a seven out of ten. Lisa's is a transformation. Mm. It looks very different. You kind of think it was like Jess or something random. Mm. Um, Who's that girl? Yes, and then Lauren, I will give you oh, a six out of 10. Ooh. Only because you have no accessories. Okay, uh, I forgot about accessories. But I, I got caught up in the moment. Your outfit. It's really <laughs> See, I just wore these so that whatever I wear, I'll have yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, this is what I was already wearing. Yeah. But. Look number two. We're gonna change into our date night looks. <laughs> Almost that exact outfit last month, but I did my running shoes with the uh, white on the bottom. Okay, oh. cause I wanted to do like a sandal or something, but all the yours are so like heels and this and that. I was like, it just couldn't be me. So. <laughs> Could never be you. Shoes. That's oh cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, you like that? That's so cute. Yeah. I was like, really shook that you own this. I'm I like, got it for Christmas, Mas. Oh, okay. I was it gonna was say. for like a even. I saw the red skirt you wanted. I was like, she wore that on Christmas, but I know this was Christmas too. I'm in shock. I can't hear. <laughs> I've lost all of my senses, especially the common one. Um, I would like. <laughs> you lost your comments. I'm so scared. I'm so confused. I'm so, so shook. Give uh, what? So <clears throat> Oh, I can't tell. I don't know what to do. So, so nervous the whole time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ready? I'm I won. Shook. I love your outfit. 20 wow. million. Oh, I love it so much. I, I think know. you should get stuff like that. I know. Really I fun. never would, but I'm like, I should It's really cute. Well, I feel like I'm really opening Lauren's mind in this it's video. It's <laughs> so different. You look like such a different guy, but also the same you. I kind of wish you had some big gold hoops. Yes. On. Not like big, just some like kind some of earrings gold. would be fun. Girl. I love you. Even if you just put your hair in a ponytail? Yeah. Oh. Nine out of ten. Oh! I just, there's not any accessories. <laughs> what accessory would you put okay, on? Put it? your hair pink. Put you your don't have any earrings. Put your hair. Lisa, I love it. I would say seven out of ten, eight out of ten. Uh, and that good. vicinity, very cute. It's so different than what you normally wear. I love the color of the brown on you. And right? I know, that looks so great. So popping. And the boots are really cute too, but I feel like they're too cool for that in my brain, but only because I'm a no, new piggy lady. No, they are. My toes are not pained right now, mm -hmm. so all my sandals look... So, so maybe that's why it's a seven and eight and not like... Well, that's fine. But Be it's honest. cute. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do our concert performance outfits. I'm nervous. I don't even know this will fit me. I can't 
lost that. Wait, why? I it's, feel like you've literally worn this. No, 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 no. That's like extra tomboy. I'm kind of yeah. shook. I like that shirt combo. Right? Oh. It's good. See, that's another thing. Those shorts, I have like... Yeah, these are a little tight. They're real. Right? They're men, so they don't. But have I like hip them. Room. Yeah. Oh, that makes yeah. Sense. They kind of take your yeah. butt and go. This is classic, flat. you. Right? All the powder I was like, yeah. I could do the light pink sweatshirt with it, but this feels better. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I love both of them. It's both great. Thank you. Love it. Would not lift it. Um, I like how Lisa has 50 patterns. It's very <laughs> suiting. It makes a lot of sense. Um, oddly enough, these outfits really go together, which is strange. We made a cool like duo. A, like, yeah. <laughs> I would say at least I get to 8 out of 10 for the earrings and all the patterns. The earrings weren't even from my closet. Yeah. Oh, fakery and trickery. What? Those aren't, your necklaces aren't from my closet. I know, but you can't rate her based on Never mind. Well, no, but it's okay if you like them. I would give Lauren a, oh, I can't tell. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I would give Lauren an 8.5, baby, because... Did she get an 8? I got an 8. She got an 8. <laughs> wow. I don't know what to do. They're both so good. I feel like I transformed Lauren's clothes. Who knew an outfit like this could come out of your closet? True. I knew that. So. <laughs> but you wouldn't have done it. I'm shook cool. that you'd wear these two patterns, though. That's pretty cool. Excuse me, were you around Lauren's entire childhood? She's not afraid of patterns. I don't know if you know, but and it's been about 15 patterns. years. Since then. <laughs> no, but that's her true soul. Since it's like we're close. Um, I love them. You look great. I'm just shook, and that was took probably ten years off my life. So I was so nervous the whole time. Oh my gosh! All right, get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your yeah, love. You all. Thank you for joining. Thank you for having me today. I really appreciate it. She's gone. <laughs> oh my God. I have to say, this was a great challenge. I feel like it made me think of other pieces that I wouldn't normally buy. Yes, like, me ooh. too. I'm like expanding my mind. <laughs> love it. I love it. So I'm glad we did this. Shout out to Christina once again for thinking of this video. We owe you. <laughs> You know, we owe it all to you. Yeah, we owe it all to you. <laughs> and Amy owes 10 years of her life now to Christina. If you want to see any more Switching Closets video, comment down below and let us know. And that's that. <laughs> it's time for question, question of the week. week. This week's question is from YouTube Stories. Abby Barber asked, what is something you've wanted to do but never had the courage? Skydiving. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say something like that. Probably skydiving. I will one day. Yeah, I already did the swimming with sharks thing, kind of. Oh, that and was that good. was really scary. So I'm like, hmm, I gotta do more stuff like that. But maybe not like I don't know. Sky things like skydiving just freak me out because it's like something could go wrong and you could like die. Make sure you follow us on Spotify where we have a ton of covers and originals you can listen to. If you like this video, subscribe and join the Sim Fam. We are a positive community of people that really just want to live our best lives, lift each other up, and if you feel like you don't belong anywhere, you belong here with us in the Sim Fam. We are all inclusive, so subscribe and join the fam. Thanks for watching. We love the Sim Fam. We said it like the exact same. Yeah, we got crazy. Is this is a fun dynamic. It's, it's, it's crazy. crazy.